Hello everybody! Welcome back to episode 3 of my survival let's play series here on my farm. <laughs> I've been hard at work as you can see. I never make farms like this but it's been fun. It's been a waiting game and I love it. I've collected a few bits and pieces and it's not for the reason that you think. Like maybe some of it but not all. I do need this wheat to make a block for my mega base when I start to build that. So I hope you're ready for that because I don't think it's going to be a lot of episodes in between from here on out until that episode comes and that I'm going to start building on my base. And this is one of the blocks that I need. It's packed mud and I need a lot, a lot of it. So that's why I have this big farm so I can collect a lot of wheat. I need maybe like six double chests probably oh it's nighttime okay i need to go sleep but yeah so this is what i've been doing off camera i've been doing a lot of tree grinding as you can see i've been everywhere to find all the stuff that i need the only thing i haven't started yet is the concrete powder i also need tons tons of concrete powder and many different kinds kinds of white blocks so that's what i've been working on behind the scenes i guess i can say or off camera and it's been it's been a grind i've been up here for hours just planting trees and taking them down and planting new like as you can see here i have tons of spruce and dark oak and i started on these uh mangrove i hate i absolutely hate collecting mangrove trees they why can't the roots of the mangrove trees disappear the same way the leaves does like it's so annoying so annoying so for them to not oh they oh it's been growing okay they are spreading but now i can see here that these trees actually really plant themselves i never seen it happen before because this tree i did not plant it i took everything down but i didn't see a sapling because these trees just drop these and it, it keeps replanting themselves. Like it makes the game feel more alive. This is one of the places I've been working really hard this uh, in between episodes. So plans for this episode. To do list. Name a sheep jet. Because the last episode I didn't have enough iron and I've also been caving a lot. I don't know why I came back up here but whatever. I went caving for a few hours last night. I was not planning on recording this but when I was caving for more stuff off camera just doing the grindy work. I found a vein of iron. I've been caving a lot. I found also... Oh more diamonds right here. There's a lava cave all the way down there as well. Oh my god. This place is really huge. So now I'm just gonna dig through this and hopefully there's a lot. I love finding these. They are so amazing. I've excavated everything here. It was a lot. I've collected all of this. So much iron. Oh, maybe I can do this now. Now I can actually make the anvil so I can name the sheep Jeb. I was supposed to do that in the last episode, but I didn't have enough iron and I couldn't be bothered to go and collect more iron because I was tired. So yeah, so that's the first task today. Where do I put it? Downstairs? Yeah, why not? And then I need to find a name tag. I also found another name tag. Jeb underscore. And which one do I choose? I did think of a pink one, and I don't know why. So let's name this one Jeb. <gasps> I thought the Jeb one was he was gonna go upside down. But Jeb is the is the rainbow one. Oh my god! I love that. Okay, I need to bring him with me somewhere. Okay, where are you, Jeb? There you are. Ah. The absolute rudeness. Can I please get Jeb over here? Come here. Yes. I want to have Jeb closer to my house. You're my new pet. You're gonna live with me in my house. We're almost back home. Can't they go through doors? 
Come here. Yeah, come, come, come. Yay! Oh no, the door is in the wrong way. Okay. There you go. There. <laughs> Look at him go. Do you love your new home? Feels homey, don't don't it? Next thing on the list is go archaeology. Cause that place over there, I need to explore it more. I just need to find everything that's hidden down in those ruins. I need to bring this with me. One more pickaxe just in case it's a lot down there. And do I bring stuff to decorate? Do I? Maybe a few bits and bobs. Okay, Jeb, I'm coming back home soon. I Maybe I'll bring my bed so that I can sleep through the night over there. Okay, goodbye. Gonna go archaeology. Excavating. I don't know what's called. There's something along those lines. I'm here. Okay, so let's set up camp. Building montage. Let's go. It's not that bad. It's not at all that bad. And these are just more logs for the fire. I promise you, one day this will get better. I was like, out of the blue building. I did not plan on this. Okay, I will start excavating then. I don't have, I don't have torches. Because I probably think it will be so dark down there. So let's just start. Just digging everything. Out. Oh, that's a that's a thing. Oh, <gasps> it's an armor trim. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Ooh, I'll come back to you when I find something because this will take a while, I think. Okay, I I, I think you saw that, but. It's another one of those pottery shards and this one is heartbroken heartbreak pottery shard oh no oh Jesus I keep doing that I've broken like 10 already I think because I'm not careful about where I'm digging absolutely not I've never heard that ambient noise before what the hell I'm gonna keep excavating this and I'll show you everything that I find because I just realized this is kind of boring to watch, isn't it? Let me know in the comments if this is something you like to watch. Someday when I get a lot of viewers, I can maybe do like the grindy work on stream here on YouTube. That would be cool, wouldn't it? I just need to make sure that I get a lot of viewers to do that because I don't want to sit there on stream and just have no one watching because that would be so boring. What's that? Is that a dead bush? Wow! <laughs> but I will get back to you when I've gone through a lot of this. See you then! I think I'm reaching the end of this excavating. So this is everything that I got. And then this. These two armor trims. I got two red candles, pottery shard burn, two pottery shards friend, heart pottery shard, and then two heartbreak pottery shard. I'm gonna bring with me these. The rest I can come back for another time. I will come back to this place when I want to excavate some more in this. Yeah, hi Jeb. Had fun home alone. Do I need... Yeah, right, yeah. Okay, so I will make a heartbreak of a friend. Ooh. Oh, hi. You wanted to see you too. Wow, oh my god, that's so pretty. Like, maybe there? Why not? That's so cute. I love it. Make an enchantment room. Yeah. I don't think I have enough books yet, but I have this planned. I have 12 books. I think you need 15 to make full 30 level enchants. And I'm not sure where I want to put this. 
some do i just put it somewhere and build a house around it i have no idea i had enough leather to make the next three bookshelves that i needed to make 15 and i have made the enchanting table uh, i have one book left over and now i just need to find a place where i want this enchanting room to be do i make it over there or do i make it up with i may have an idea i think i want to do it over here it's not going to be very like extravagant or anything because I am going to build a mega base containing this enchanting stuff. So this is going to be just a, a simple little build, not really fancy. Yes. Okay, I will plop down my enchanting table and stuff first. And I also have, where's my bookies? There they are. Why can't I get it up to 30? Why do I do that? There you go, 30. Okay, so I need to make one more to put there, or just have it off-centered like this to have it more interesting. I am going to make it like that maybe, like three, and then have a door. No. Like so, I believe, four. Or do I try to... Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I will have it like this. And then make a round house. Like, make it a circular house. And have a domed roof. That would be cool. Did I bring my bed? I did. Gotta plop it down over here. Building montage. Let's go. Is it the worst building ever? No, question mark? Is it the best? Definitely not. I was trying something new by using the blocks that I had that I haven't used before. Cherry Blossom and the Mangrove before. I thought I just wanted to mix those in, but I absolutely hate it, I think. I hate that it's all wood. So, lesson learned there. Insides looks kind of cool, but not really. Um, the flooring needs work. Uh, I'm not going to build anymore in this episode. I got so demotivated. So, I'm just going to start enchanting stuff. Let's do that. I need to go get myself some lapis. Oh. Please go away. Like, if I changed the roof to be a different color, and those arches and that roof, and remove those pillars, I think this would be a decent build. Like, I do know how to build some styles, but I just try to go for something new. And, as you can see, you live and you learn. <laughs> Minecraft is a learning curve. You find your own style, and you go with that one. I'm never gonna try to build something like that again. It From here, it looks cool. So maybe it is the wood texture I don't like. Like, mm, I don't know. Lapis, where did I put that? Maybe upstairs. Did I put, no, I put it here. Yeah, okay. Now I have something to put up there. Those bookshelves in there, I think. I think that will look nice. Like so. Oh my god, that's new. You weren't able to do that before, to put them wherever you wanted. Okay, I love that. Okay, and then you can pick out the one you want. Oh my god. Game changer, literally. Nice. That's so cool. Okay, now I love those. Let's see what I will get on this. 
Unbreaking 3 and something more. Ah. Oh. First enchant. This. Efficiency 4. I'm gonna put Lapis down there. What do I get on the book? Efficiency 2. Maybe I want that. We have an enchanting area, guys. That's so fun. Love this. Not at all. Why did I lie? I have no idea. I promise you, I'm gonna make it look pretty. Uh, sometime. We have enchanting. Yes! Finally! To-do list. Make a skeleton arm. So I can have bone for my concrete powder. That's one thing I'm going to let you in on. I'm going to come up with more stuff to do in the next episode. Okay, um... I hate that building so much. I need to change something about it. I, I can't think about anything else. It's bothering me this much. So I need to change some details on that house right now. Just, oh my god, it's so ugly. I can keep the walls like the... Oh, that's efficiency. But I hate these pillars. They need to go. I can use this mangrove for like detail work. Already now, it's way better. Maybe, maybe this has a chance. Maybe the pink also needs to go. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why I like it more on the inside because the red was not there. So the roof. I hate that too. I think I am going to use moss. I, I think I need to match that aesthetic and not try to make my own design again. Yeah, the pink needs to go as well. So I'm going to keep working on this and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've been tweaking on the enchantment tower. I'm trying to replicate the same style instead of using five different types of wood. But yeah, I think I like this design even better. I made the top of the roof taller and I made this one also a block taller. And I think I like this way better. It's going in the right direction at least. Time lapse time, let's go. Okay. Oh my god, it's way prettier now. It's not finished yet. Still needs to do some work on the bottom, but the roof, way better now. Way better. Better, better. The inside, so pretty. So lush. I'm gonna have vines and glowberries and such. Oh my god, I need to fix that roof there okay i can say that i love the house now it's way prettier maybe i can show you in the morning then when there's no rain oh yeah love it i love it what do i do there hmm huh. this has stumped me okay i will come back when i figure this out Okay, I figured a way to do this. I wanted to have a more interesting trim around the house. So I pulled everything more downwards in the corners. Made a divot. Like before, it was just straight across. Now I'm gonna do it like that. All the way around. And then I had to remove this. Then pull this down. And pull this back up. Something like that. Yeah, I need more stairs of the deep slate. As you can see, this was the way it was before. And then this is how it is now. Okay, it's coming along. Why is that one different than this? Oh, there's a full block on top. 
that is not the point. Oh, look at this now. A completely different build from what it was before. And I'm so happy with it. Thank God I came back and redid basically everything. Now I just need to prettify the outside, but that's not going to be in this episode. This episode has been through a lot of turbulations enough. I don't think I want to try to do the garden as well. What do you guys think? It's, it's still a little bland down here. I need to mossify it. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna tweak it a bit and make it look more overgrown, like nature has taken its toll on it. And that's going to do off camera. I think I saved this house. The cottage core has come through. I think I like this even more than that one, to be honest. I actually didn't think there would be this much building in this episode, but as a builder, you actually gotta expect it. <laughs> you know? So it's becoming nighttime, and I'm trying to gather all, all my things and pack it back home. Yeah, the view of the enchanting tower from here, way better than what it was before. Now it's not an eyesore. I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of my single player Let's Play series. We did a lot this episode and um, we don't talk about what I did first with this house back here, our enchantment tower. Like you can still see the same shapes, but better now and different colors and on theme of cottage core that I was going for. And we did some archaeology, we found some stuff. Maybe we should do some more. I didn't get myself to an ocean ruin this episode because I was so fixated on this house back here. Yeah. Next episode, we are going to try to get ourselves to the nether. We're gonna try to find the blaze and the blaze rods so we can create the Eye of Ender, so we can plan to get ourselves to the end as well. Because I really want those shulker boxes and I also really want an elytra. I have been preparing for an elytra because I have made rockets. I have three stacks. I need way more. So maybe we should make a creeper farm so I can have a lot of gunpowder. Yeah, whatever. A lot of things planned. I hope you guys have liked this series so far. Planning big things, guys. Hope you're joining with me when I'm starting on my mega base. See you in the next episode in episode four. Bye!